welcome to Flugatronic. Up now we're going to take a quick second look at the RKF Philharmonic. This is a hybrid flute from Red Kite Flutes in the UK and Just Flutes is their retailer. Uh, I've paired it with the Guo New Voice uh, Silver Flute, except it's composite. <laughs> um, so today I wanted to look at a couple of things. Uh, there was a question in the initial uh, video about the length of the mouthpiece. I'll try and show you that today. This is the standard mouthpiece. So if you're playing this as, just as a regular flute, pop this on, you can do that. Um, but one of the observations was that my reach was a, a little bit longer than expected. And you can see, try to hold this up. So if I line this, with the tenon, you can see that the regular flute hole is about lined up with the uh, true sound hole on the, uh, the NAF mouthpiece. And then the blow hole for the NAF is on this side way up here. So um, observation was correct. This is about four and a half inches longer than the standard head joint which means if i was playing if i was playing with that standard I, my mouth would be about here um, but to play it with the uh with the filler harmonic head joint i have to be out here so it does uh, increase the reach by about four and a half inches uh, so just point of information the other thing i wanted to do it today is start exploring the second octave a little bit now, I don't quite have this figured out, I'll be honest with you. The range of this is advertised as two and a half octaves, and I'm probably going to have to get some help from the uh, Just Flutes guys to figure out how to do that. But we will um, take a brief look at, um, at the second octave, if I can, if I can get it. So uh, first, um, let's just play the uh, lower octave. Let's see if we can get all the notes of the lower octave. Popped up the low B there already. So the, the low end is, is a little bit tricky. Um, one, my um, ring finger tends to want to come off of the, the whole, of its hole. <laughs> and then uh, also the rollers are pretty tricky. And to get the, the Especially the low C and the D, you really have to. You still have to have breath control, even though this is a um, uh, a, a NAF mouthpiece. So to get those low notes, uh, just slow it down and kind of uh, more of your breathing, slow breathing technique. Make sure all the holes are covered. All right, let's go on up. So that's the top of the first octave is actually the high C sharp above middle C. Mm -hmm. And so the D, D5, it would be really starts the second octave. And that's very easy to do. Uh, basically, you just lift, lift your index finger from the bottom octave and it'll pop up to the D. Breath control does take a little bit um, difference. So as you're getting into the second octave, uh, you're, you're kind of blowing harder and a little bit different angle on the mouthpiece too. Mm -hmm. 
So it kind of helps to push it out just a little bit to get um, get a little bit different angle going down the uh, the windway there. So I'm not sure if that's standard technique, but all of the pinky notes from D down to B work um, in the second octave too. And I didn't check the tuner, but um, those notes are there. <laughs> so there's a little bit of overlap uh, between uh, between the registers. So so you can get uh, say the B up to the C sharp in the lower register. Um, you can also get them with the pinky in the upper register. And it definitely is not as picky uh, in the upper register with, mm -hmm. with your breath control. All right, um, so you heard me do a D and an E. Those are pretty easy to get. Once you get over E, you really have to uh, kind of focus the wind stream going in into the mouthpiece and blow a lot harder. So I can usually get up to about a G in the second octave and then it just kind of breaks on me. Let's, let's see what happens here. <laughs> to be flat that time <laughs> so yeah that second octave um, definitely takes some 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 focus and, and pressure to get up there so um, but it does work uh, with, with a little bit of practice third octave have not got there yet so <laughs> hey like I said I've never played a silver flute or even a composite flute <laughs> uh, before before this one so if you spot something that's wrong with my technique do not hesitate to uh, give me a give me a note down in the comments would be uh, very happy to hear from you. Uh, till next time, thanks for watching.